This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. My dear friends, in today's Mass, we lift up to God our needs and we ask the intercession of our Blessed Mother and the intercession of our Holy Guardian Angels for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries this month and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and streamed celebration. And for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, 
and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, hear our supplication as we cry to you, that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Fear not, my people. Remember, Israel. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. It was because you angered God that you were handed over to your foes. For you provoked your maker with sacrifices to demons to no gods. You forsook the eternal God who nourished you. You grieved Jerusalem who fostered you. She indeed so coming upon you, the anger of God, and she said, Hear, you neighbors of Zion, God has brought great mourning upon me for I have seen the captivity that the eternal God has brought upon my sons and daughters. With joy I fostered them, but with mourning and lament I let them go. Let no one gloat over me, a widow, bereft of many. For the sins of my children I am left desolate because they turned from the law of God. Fear not, my children, call out to God. He who brought this upon you will remember you. As your hearts have been disposed to stray from God, turn now 10 times the more, the more to seek him. For he who has brought disaster upon you will, in saving you, bring you back enduring joy. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you. Unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, as I reflect on today's gospel and on today's memorial or feast of the holy guardian angels, I feel happy. I am happy because at the early stage of life, we have been made aware of God's protecting hand. Thanks to that special prayer for the guardian angel, it is God's desire to really protect us. That is why we have the presence of the guardian angels. And for me, this is the message of that very familiar guardian angel prayer that God has sent his angels to us in order to protect us. And as I further reflect on that prayer, this desire of protecting, this desire of God of protecting us, His children, is very much connected with God's love for all of us. That's why, I don't know if you would agree with me, 
if one truly loves, he or she cannot but protect his or her beloved. How often do we pray this guardian angel prayer? How often? For some, they pray this before going to bed, as most of kids do. Others use or recite this prayer every time they begin to travel. I hope that as often as we pray this beautiful prayer, we all the more grow in protecting and in guarding one another against all evil and against all harm. It is our turn, it is our part as well, if we truly, if we are truly God's messengers in today's world, we have to have this, the ending part, to light and guard against all forces of darkness and against those who want to destroy life and those who want to distort the truth to rule and guide our brothers and sisters out of our sincere love for them and by seeing to it that we do not despise these little ones or those who are poor. Dear guardian angels, pray for us. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who shows such love for small and humble people. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. And so we say, Almighty Father, bless our humble ways. That the church and its leaders may not seek to impress the world with outward splendor and power, but reach out to all as humble servants. Let us pray to the Lord. That those in power may not rely on force or weapons, but that they may use their position for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. That children may get to know God by our teachings and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. That those burdened by the trials of life, the poor, the sick, and the handicapped may experience God's love and care through us. Let us pray to the Lord. That all those who have died may enjoy everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of heaven and earth, make us wise with your wisdom and help us to follow you in the humble way you have shown us. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Palma, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Worthy that you should enter my roof, Savior and my soul. The body of Christ. Of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life with so great a, a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace through Christ our Lord. Sancta Dei Genetrix. Oremus. Omnipotens Empiterni Deus, qui gloriose Virginis Matris Mariae Corpus et Animam, ut dignum filitum epit habita cumulum ificimere retur, Spiritus Sancto cooperante preparasti, Da ut cuius commemorazione letamur, ius pia in tetessione ab instantibus malis, et a morte perpetua liberemur. 
per iumdem Christum Dominum nostrum. Act of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. O Mary, Virgin most powerful and Mother of mercy, Queen of heaven and refuge of sinners, we consecrate ourselves to your Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to you our very being and our whole life, all that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To you we give our bodies, our hearts, and our souls. To you we give our homes, our families, and our country. We desire that all that is in us and around us may belong to you and may share in the benefits of your motherly blessing and that this act of consecration may be truly fruitful and lasting. We renew this day at your feet the promises of our baptism and our first Holy Communion. We pledge ourselves to profess courageously and at all times the truth of our holy faith and to live as befits Catholic who are submissive to all directions of the Pope and the bishops in communion with him. We pledge ourselves to keep the commandments of God and his church, in particular, to keep holy the Lord's day. We pledge ourselves to make the consoling practices of the Christian religion and above all, holy communion an important part of our lives in so far as we shall be able to do. Finally, we promise you, O glorious Mother of God and loving Mother of men and women, to devote ourselves wholeheartedly to the spreading of devotion to your Immaculate Heart in order to hasten and assure through the queenly rule of your Immaculate Heart the coming of the kingdom of the sacred heart of your adorable Son in our own hearts and in those of all men and women in our country and in our whole the world, as in heaven, so on earth. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. our holy guardian angels, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. 
San Pedro Calungsod. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks. Have a blessed week weekend, everyone. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family.